Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is Backyard America and I'm Michaela. You're gonna have to excuse the way I look. I'm a hot damn mess. I've been out on the pad all day and that's where they take you to practice backing and um, your pre-trip inspection, stuff like that. It's when you're with your uh, personal trainer. OMG. <laughs> okay, let me start back yesterday and I did not get with y'all. I was in a hot ass mess and mood. I got up at six, well, five in the morning, got on the shuttle at 5.50, went to campus. I was in, in practice my pre-trip inspections for about two hours out on a truck they had out there because they were supposed to give a class on pre-trip inspections on um, at eight o'clock that morning. So I get done, I go sit in the classroom I said, well, what are you doing here? And there's a few of us, and we're, we're here for the pre-trip inspections. <sighs> then they turn around, oh, well, we're not doing the class today. There's not many of you, and you don't have to be here. And I was like, why the hell do you have the class? We, I want to be here. Yes, I have my trainer, but we don't start until tomorrow. And they're like, well, you can go out and look at a truck if you want, sweetie. Sweetie, really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. So anyway, I go back out and I practice my pre-trip. I go back to the, well, I go to eat breakfast after that. Then I go back to my room. Well, I have to take the shuttle back to the room and then get back on the shuttle, go back that evening and I work on my pre-trip. And this is the engine compartment because there's no trailer to practice on. You can't do an in-cab. So I have my trainer that I met on Friday told me, well, we'll start on Sunday, so just meet me there Sunday, which is today. He goes, meet me at six in the morning. So once again, I'm waiting for the shuttle at five in the morning, freezing ass cold. And I don't mind, you know, hey, it's all part of the thing. I get there and I start talking to a girl and I say, well, who's your trainer? She goes, well, Jimmy. And she goes, well, I'm testing out tomorrow. You know, I'm going for practice. I said, oh, good. So we get there. Then he looks at me. What are you doing here? And I said, "I'm." you told me to be here at 6. He goes, I'm at 9 o'clock. So I'm thinking, I got my cookies out of bed at 5 something in the morning to pound my face a little and take a shower. You know, get a little bit of makeup on. And I arrived there at 6 o'clock. But no, I don't need to be there until 9. He goes, well, go ahead and get on the truck. I said, okay. So I'm on with this girl who's practicing. She's going to test out tomorrow. Annette. Oh, she's really cool. I met this chick. I love her to death. Um, so that's the only good thing that came out this morning. And so um, Annette, she's going. She's doing real good. And then our instructor decides to help her. <laughs> oh, God. Or yell at her. And she gets all frustrated and I come back and see her getting frustrated and I was like come on sweetie just settle down breathe and I'm telling her this because I haven't been in the hot seat yet <laughs> well let me tell you what I found out what that hot seat was like it burned my little tushy so anyway she's she done she, she goes she parks the truck she pulls the brakes out she hops off the instructor thinking she's coming to ask him something she walks right past him. She has all her stuff in her arms. It was funny as hell. And he goes, hey, hey. And she goes, I'm done. I am done. I am done with you. She goes, I'll be here tomorrow to take my test. Goodbye. And I was like, Ooh. <laughs> I loved it. So she ends up walking off. And um, I ended up meeting up with her later in the um, at the millennial building where they had the restaurants and the gym and all that stuff theater and we sat there and talked she's a hoot i love her to death so anywho i get in the truck i mean i get out he goes you can get in the front seat and i said okay and he goes we're going to practice our straight backs and i'm thinking no problem i had a 38 foot horse trailer i backed all the time i could you know do anything with that trailer you know i know how to back you know so, I get in the truck. I'm backing. I'm doing just fine. He goes, you're looking at that one mirror too much. You're going to hit something on that side. And I'm like, no, I'm actually not. And I'm glancing over at my other mirror. But, but I need to get my focal point, my focus point. You know, you concentrate on that line. 
and you know where you are within your straight back and how this side of your trailer moves. That's how I always remember, but you know, you gotta go. You can't just go, mm-hmm, I peep that, and you know, I can back anything up. Then guess what, I'm gonna go in and I'll be back. You practice, and I'm like, okay. So I pull forward again. And I back it up probably six times. Not a damn problem. And then little Mr. Man comes back out in his little pink shoes. He goes, dip, 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 dip. And I'm like, mm hmm. And he's actually a real nice guy. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. I like the man. Um, but, you know, it was just funny. I, and then all of a sudden, could I back straight when he gets there and starts nying, nying, nying at me? No. My backing just gets worse and worse. And I'm like, oh, my Lanta. I could do this in my sleep if you would just shut up, stand back away from me, and let me do it. I would do it, and we would do just fine. But, mm, that, that wasn't happening. So, anyway. God help me. We do that, and then he goes, okay, you're getting it, you're getting it. And I'm thinking, if you'd have just left me alone and just watch, I would have got it. And you wouldn't have said a damn thing. I'd have got it just fine. So then he goes, okay, let's do an offset back. Okay, and what an offset back is, is, okay, here's the bay you're backing into right here. And then your truck and trailer's up here. And you got to turn it, but you got to turn your tractor this way to push your trailer this way. And... The way it's done is you you got this landing gear under your trailer. So let's say this is my landing gear and here's the cab of the truck. When the when you're turning like this, when your back wheel, this is your back wheel gets just about a foot and a half past your landing gear. It, and you're doing this the whole time backing and then you cut your wheel all the way back until you are straight with your trailer, and that ends you up perfectly between those two lines. And then, from there, you do the opposite until you get back with on the other side with your back tire on the other side in between your landing gear, and then you push it over and it's straight in. And then you turn around and you just do a straight back. But, no, do we think it went that smooth? No. He go, which way do you want it to go? And I'm thinking, well, there's so many parts of this damn thing. Which way do you think I want it to go? I want it to go in that damn hole. But I said, uh, I want the trailer to go that way. And he goes, don't worry about which way that truck goes. You make that truck push that trailer. And I'm like, dude, you're getting all kinds of confusing to me. Next thing you know, I didn't know my left from my right. He goes, do I need to tattoo your hands? Which one says left and which one says right? And I'm like, Really? Do I strike you as that type of woman? I am six foot one, fat and mean as hell. Hell to the no. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so I'm just like, okay, I, I see I see what you're doing here, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I end up, I do end up getting that, um, the offset from the left and the right. We did it a couple times. And, you know, really, that did help me. And you guys are getting crooked. I, you guys are sitting on a cup. You're sitting on a tripod to get right, you know, just get perfect. Get right? Okay. Mm hmm So, anyway, uh, we turn around. And I got that pretty good. I nailed it. It was... I was like, okay, this is kind of a cool technique. So, I mean, the man has a lot to teach you. He just needs to soften up a little. Some people need that bam, bam, bam. I need, okay, sweet. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, You might want to try, you know, just be, bring the level of energy down. Otherwise, I start just, you know, misfiring. So, but he's a real nice guy. I mean, I really do like him. And, but, oh, my God. Okay, now, you guys know, I had not been in the cab of one of these trucks. 
it's up with simulator, and simulator's nothing like the real truck. Gauges are all in different spots and everything, and a girl showed me inside her cab the other day, but nothing, I didn't know what anything was in there. So, he, and I read the little paper that tells you, you know, on your pre-trip, you check the air gauge, you do this, you do that, but I didn't concentrate a whole lot on the in cab because, well, frankly, I didn't have one to look at. With the, because the trainers that were showing us how to do the pre-trip inspection on the engine compartment stuff, they won't let us go in the trucks to look at things. So, I turned around and um, he goes, where's this, where's that? And I was like, I don't know. And he goes, read your script. And I lost my glasses. So, I could not read off the pre-trip inspections. I couldn't read it. It was just too small. And I didn't want to say I don't have my glasses, you know. <laughs> but it was it's just reading glasses. So, I'm sitting there trying to read it. And then, oh my God, it was just this nightmare. And he just kept getting upset with me. He goes, you need to go get a clipboard. You need, this needs to be neater. This needs to be done this way. Blah, 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 blah. Just got all kinds of frustrated with me. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm a John Lyons certified instructor. I know how to teach people. Any kind of person. He is good with teaching people that need that bam, bam, bam. Don't do me that way and I will learn and I'll get it. But the thing with him, like on a pre-trip inspection, he adds all kinds of shit and makes it more complicated. But the thing I like about that is that I'm learning more about the truck. And that's just, you know, it's just kind of cool. So I like that part. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to go back to campus later tonight. Not campus, but I'm at campus. That's where the hotel is. Um, I'm going back to uh, the yard and doing um, some more pre-tripping. You know, over there at, um, what do they call it? It's not the Millennium, but the Plaza. That's where the yard is. And I'm going to do some more pre-tripping and stuff, so... That was my rant for the day, right? And this is a vlog. I'm just going to do this vlog style. I'll do a little editing every once in a while, but most of it's just going to be raw. And it's going to tell you about my day, what I've done. Um, and all the instructors have different teaching strategies. I do. Like I said, I like my instructor. And me and him, I'm sure, will get our groove. And it'll be fine. Like I said, the, the guy is just a really nice guy. But, I mean, I'm like a deer in the damn headlights. I'm like, uh, you know, I'm just caught. You can't move. You're frozen. So, anyway, you guys stay safe. Take care of each other. Lots of love. Talk to you tomorrow.